Hi everyone and welcome back to Mwine Washokas. We are excited this week to be looking into the fish category. You nominated your favorite spots and we're going to go to at least four of them today. Welcome to my husband, William. You guys, today I'm excited. You're probably <laughs> one of my favorite chefs, favorite personalities. Chef Temwa. How thank are you? I'm very well, thank you. And how welcome. are you? I'm thank good. You. I'm good. Thank Ready you. to taste a lot of fish today? Absolutely, we might be fished out. So yeah, let's let's get on to it and uh, let's see and thank you. To, to Fantastic. You. So let's get to know Chef Thames a little bit. Chef Temwa, aka Chef Thames, is a culinary extraordinaire known for his knack for creating unique food combinations and menus. He has worked in a number of critically acclaimed restaurants and hotels and countries such as South Africa, the Maldives and Zambia, wowing many with his culinary prowess. Chef Thames is well regarded by his peers for his genuine authenticity, creativity, and dedication to using the freshest local and organic ingredients possible. He thus creates exceptional dishes with high nutritional content and tantalizing flavors, providing many with an unforgettable dining experience. Niku Tikuli Shokas, Tisakila Mwine Wa Shokas. We're here at Mass Media Gardens because you nominated them as having some of the best fish in Lusaka. Well, we're going to find out about that, but for now, let's get to know more about Mass Media Gardens. So, Mass Media Gardens started as a Kavina Luemba uh, five years ago, of which it was uh, started by Madame Fevin Parokoso. She just loved how to cook food, of which now she decided to open a restaurant called Kavina Luemba, of which the main aim of uh, Opening that restaurant was to showcase food from northern Zambia because obviously that's where she came from. And then later on, she became tired and then she said, okay, she interested in the business, like for us young people to run it. And then that's when we decided to rebrand to Mass Media Gardens. So when we transitioned to Mass Media Gardens, uh, we now introduced our events of uh, which we offer the following services under events management. We do corporate functions, we do birthday parties. Um, baby showers uh, and, and etc etc so when we started we were just like five of us and her management and then when young people took off now we are about 11 of us who are actually uh, working for mass media gardens so apart from uh, the traditional food that we used to do under Pavina November we have now uh, also added in um, incognito meals under mass media gardens which could be any food that you, you may want. It could be T-bone, it could be pork chop, it could be chicken, anything that you, you, you can mention. So Mass Media Garden is located in Mass Media. We are uh, along Dunfrey Road, uh, we we'll let my finger close. We open from 7.30 to about 17 hours, of which we can go beyond 17 if there is um, any event that could happen at that time. It could be maybe a birthday party or anything. Then for weekends, weekends are also special. We do events over the weekends and also we can do any event that could uh, could be available at that time or if you're booked on that day, we can also be open for weekends. My husband is Lozi and Litapi is a thing. Is a, uh, are you one of those people when you eat fish, the bones just come out? Just go, like you yeah. know, those, <laughs> those, Tom and Jerry, those Tom and Jerry cartoons. Eh? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, all right, and all right. it's coming with tenshima. Oh, oh my. wow! Oh wow, chef. So how, okay, far. so William and wow. I normally share plates, so we'll we'll, we'll do just, this. I think this so is this is so inside. cool. So this is our famous uh, lemon chow your fish. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! From Mass Media Gardens. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, so how to prepare this simple? We get some lemon here, there, mm -hmm. and as well as some uh, barbecue, some barbecue spices. Oh, okay. so, so 
very small kind of fat, just natural. Okay. So that will bring you the vegetables that are um, traditional. Mm -hmm. All right. Just looking mm -hmm. at, um, you know, where we come from. Yes. Uh, the villages they want to promote our <laughs> local stuff. Absolutely. So that's import, chihuahua, and also a bit of some tomato. Okay. Yes, perfect. I hope you enjoy the film, the meal, and uh, you'll get us more in the Thank, Thank you, you, Chef. I'm already really salivating. Water. <laughs> <laughs> just water. Just water. Water will be fine. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, guys. I don't know where to start. <laughs> guys. Ah, guys, I'm not even waiting. I did not eat any food before I came here. I mean, straight into oh, this. Oh, into the fish. This just looks amazing. Oh, this fish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can't taste anything else. I, I can't. <laughs> mm. It's a bit of barbecue in there as well, isn't it? <coughs> that will humble good too. Mm. Okay, so Thank you so much, Chef. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mm. Oh, that is nice. This is import, right? Okay, I think we need to we need to discuss this right now. Mm. <laughs> mm. Zambian cuisine and with when it covers vegetables, mm -hmm. I think we're very very bold, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's 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 a wow factor for me. Yeah. Sometimes when I see him for like this cut, you always used to it being like a wedge. Yes. Oh, yeah, true. I Not love the sliced. cut. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And still very pungent mm -hmm. on flavor. I, I'm always, it's a wow factor. It is. You know, I always say that you can easily be vegan in Zambia. I, mm. I totally agree. We're talking about our Zambian cuisine with the vegetables and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So the other day, we had a discussion with mom and dad. And <clears throat> she said, or well, mom was even saying that the whole culture for having lunch mm. has really changed from. When they were obviously coming up when they were younger, they kept on rushing for, you go for the rices, you go for the, the burgers, you go for mm. all of these, a lot of the Western kind of um, fast food, so to speak. Yes. Time. But now, there's a big mind, there's a big shift in the food. Everybody goes out for Nshima, and a lot of people are actually eating, because this one here, this is roller meat, if I'm not mm. mistaken. So there's a shift with the health side of things, and basically just taking back to its roots of saying, listen, you're proudly Zambian. Shima is your staple. Yes. And you've got all of these vegetables at your disposal. Mm. Why not just have a healthy lunch at the end of the 100%. day? 100%. Yeah. In the evening, fair enough, have a snack or whatever it is or do whatever. But lunch is one of those things in Zambia which is very, very important. I like what we're doing where we're going back to, especially just taking back to the fish, taking back to your chicken. Mm. And just keeping all those basic, uh, very truly Zambian kind of flavors. Well, how was it prepared? It's chocolate grilled. It's, it's and very still nice. very soft. It is. Very, it's moist. Very soft. Mm. It's got a nice. It's, it's, it's an art being able to chocolate grill fish and it coming out this moist. <laughs> we learned that, didn't we? Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. We're making a reel. Mm -hmm. And that reel just ended very abruptly. <laughs> We're frying the fish. We're trying to fry Again. fish. You know, when you're lifting it. <laughs> The reel, if people go back to that reel, it's actually one of our most popular reels. All right. It did really well. Okay. But what they didn't know is we didn't show them the ending because it ended badly. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we are enjoying this fish. Mwenewa Shokas, this is definitely a good contender. We can't wait to go to the next place. Uh, but for now, we're going to finish up and join you in our next location. So we are at Bob's at Havila Park Gardens. Gardens yeah. um, I've always seen this park as I'm driving along Church Road. Mm -hmm. So I'm really excited to try out the, the Ansomba. Oh, the Delele looks good. This is good. like a hidden gem. Yeah, right? We also you know? got to get into the garden and mm. we've all spent money we did not plan to spend. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> so you can kill so many birds at one, one stone. stone. Enjoy the nature, enjoy the food, and then walk over to Salma's uh, mm. place there yeah. and buy some amazing fruit trees. So what did you buy? Um, the coffee bean. Yes, huh? And then uh, what else did we pick up? There was something. Ethereum. Ethereum. Um, yeah, I think I'm then gonna we, stop there. We got tamarind. So tamarind, lychee. Nachi. No, no, nachi. You got a nachi. You got, got a nachi. Oh, nice. nice. Yeah, yeah. So tamarind, lychee, 
soursop, um, lockhart. No, soursop, what is that? I've never... it's, it's, it's a fruit, uh -huh. and you will learn to eat it. We'll learn to make nice things. <laughs> you will learn to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I now end up in a bottle. Okay, <laughs> okay guys, listen. Now let's get to know a bit more about Bob's at Havila Park Gardens. A gem hidden in plain sight. Bob's Kitchen is nestled in the lush Havila Gardens and Osaka's Fairview area. Bob's Kitchen has a special twist to some of our favorite Zambian dishes, which are a rousing expression of our cultural pride. Established by Barbara and Jovu Kakubo, perhaps more notably known for being one half of the dynamic duo Chatel, who are among us the pioneers of modern Zambian sound that we love and know. Barbara describes cooking as a passion that can only be compared to our love for music. Barbara believes food reflects our creativity and imagination, inspired by our traditions, art, and culture. A typical family business, the restaurant began with Barbara's mother and her sisters, helping her out to cook and serve customers. The team has since blossomed to over 11 team members, something Barbara is very proud of. The Bob's Kitchen culinary team skillfully recreates family recipes as well as innovative dishes that combine the finest seasonal Zambian produce with specially sourced meats. Their approach to cooking is inventive, centered around a trilogy of infused flavors, freshness, and cooking on charcoal, but as we know it in Zambia, Malasha. Hi, Hi how, are you? how are you? Hi, how are you? Oh, that looks so good. Mm. With the kachili on the side. With the kachili on the side. Mm? Okay. You're excited about the okra. Look at me. Become a... Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Actually, okra is one of my favorites as well. So we attack that one, all of us. Okay. Okay, let me start with the fish today. <laughs> mm. ooh, charcoal ooh. grilled. I love it. Mm. <laughs> I love it. Mm. Yes, look at that. I'm looking. You know what? Stop. The freshness Stop. of that fish. <laughs> it's just come out of the water. Mm. <laughs> Can you please call the owner? <laughs> We're a problem here. <laughs> wow. That is fresh. Mm, mm. I see why they were nominated. Mm. It's the freshness of this fish, guys. It's moist. Moist, Tell moist. You know, you can see the white. It's just pure white. Ah. <laughs> really cooked to perfection. Mm. <clears throat> As you said, it's a skill. To get it this good? Yep. I haven't shared something with you guys. Mm -hmm. Fish is my speciality. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, um, no, I remember <clears throat> that you also did fish the last time I saw you do a stage demo. Mm. I call it playtime when I'm at home. Mm. <laughs> and I'm experimenting things. There's a fish you also need to try in Siabonga. Okay. The fried fish from... Oh, from uh, Manchinchi. Yep, from Manchinchi Bay. Their uh -huh. fried fish is just different. Really? Mm -hmm. oh. Manchinchi Bay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These guys, you need to try that lemon on this. This is just ridiculous. Mm. You might just start singing. Oh, happy day! <laughs> 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 This has been so yum. Bob's by Havila's Garden Place, is it? Am I correct? <laughs> by Havila's Garden. Guys, you need to come out here. This is so good. Each stop we've had today that you guys nominated is excellent. It's and really soon good. we'll be going to the next spot. For now, can we just like go away? Can we enjoy? Please. Sorry. Sorry. But um, yeah, mm. the needful needs to be needfully done. Mm. 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 <laughs> the tongue twisters. Mm. You know? <laughs> Topandula restaurant was also nominated by you in the fish category. This one holds a special place in my heart because as we were walking, what did you say? <laughs> this <is> mom. <laughs> and before that, you're like, your mom likes this place, right? And I'm like, yeah. Always, yeah. And we found her here. Here's a picture right now to show you that mom was here with us. <laughs> Anyways, let's find out more about this amazing place called Topandula. Hello, welcome to Topandula restaurant. My name is Tabo and I'm the manager. Topandula restaurant is a Zambian Afro soul food restaurant which said in 2013, roughly about nine years ago by Mrs. Chamunda, who happens to be my grandmother. 
Topandula is um, derived from the Mbundu language, which means we give thanks or to give thanks. My grandma loves cooking. We can always count on her to be hands-on in the kitchen at family events or the events that we professionally cater for. She was one of the first restaurant owners to establish a restaurant that provides authentic Zambian traditional meals, something that she is very passionate about. It's something that she talks about all the time. Enjoying brunch or lunch at Chapandula is like being invited into a Zambian typical home. This is because Mrs. Chamunda wanted to create an authentic Zambian restaurant that celebrates our festive spirit, great cuisine, and the friendly nature, and that is exactly what we have to offer. My grandmother loves to travel a lot, and one of the things that motivated her to open up this restaurant was because every country that she visited, especially African countries, they have their own food that describes who those people are. But for us, we didn't really have so many restaurants that were really defining what being Zambian is. Therefore, our dishes are meant to be shared with family and friends in a festive and convivial atmosphere. We serve a variety of vegetables ranging from chihuahua, okra, and multiple versions of visashi, such as mpilu, chihuahua visashi, and um, lumanda. We also serve a variety of local traditional snacks, such as minkoyo, mbalala, tute, and kandolo. We provide um, catering services for different events, bring it traditional or international cuisines. Our team is very friendly, entertaining, and we ensure that our guests and clients feel right at home. We always go an extra mile to make sure we exceed our clients' expectations and ensure that the experiences are memorable. Oh, we are going to get hand washing yeah. here. Now we are being treated. Oh, Royal our guests, our yeah, guests first. To Zikomo. Yeah, that, <laughs> that drama. Welcome to Pandora Restaurant. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Thank you, thank you. The fish has been so good so far. Oh, what they do. I do this for my husband just in case he's just trying to show off because he's on camera and act like I don't do this for him. I literally wash my husband's hands every day and roll over to say wow. thank you for eating my food. Really? Yes, really. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Wow, great, Thank great you. hospitality here. So, from the last two places, we are on to our third <laughs> place. Do you still have space for food? Location? I thought this was the last. I was like, okay, the no, external, the no, hard, no. external drive is... Yeah, so this time we're really going to do a tasting. I think the last two, we just couldn't control ourselves. <laughs> no. <laughs> but you know so why? It, it, it's, it's just to die for. You look at this, mm -hmm. you're like, I want it. So exactly. I just guess, want to tuck in, you know? yeah. And you did mention that your expertise is fish, so we are very happy that we got you on the episode, you know, for fish. Absolutely, absolutely. You aren't too shy about the chili, yeah? No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's a mild chili, no. Maybe, but it does not look mild. <laughs> all right. And here, this is where we get spoiled. The veg the culture. Veggies. Yeah. If you are not Zambian and you are watching this show, it's the first Zambian show you've ever watched, our food is really, really good when it comes to vegetables. We've got so many vegetables. So if you're vegan, mm -hmm. you'd easily survive in Zambia. The different textures, the Absolutely. different flavors, mm. just Absolutely. amazing. So in Zimbabwe, what do we have here today? What veggies do we have? Here we have <coughs> Chinese. Uh -huh. Kalembla, chihuahua, mixed with groundnuts. Uh -huh. uh -huh. There's sashi. also, yes, there's sashi chihuahua. Lovely. This is impua. Mm. Mm. There's grape, there's we, Chinese. We are totally mm. spoiled. Totally spoiled. Okay, now tell me. And this one is gravy. Where do we start? <laughs> <laughs> you can see. Because everything here is just... It just looks so good. Oh. Right we'll there. keep this one next to me. Keep, oh, keep it next to me. Chihuahua. Yep. The this chihuahua. This is chihuahua mixed with impua. Ah, oh, it's oh, my wow. favorite. Okay. All right. My favorite. All right. All right. So, where to start now. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so, thank you, Lulu. Yeah. All right, yeah. you're welcome. Um, we'll yeah, start. thank you. Thank you we'll very much. Very much. <laughs> As a good woman, I will let the gentleman start. All right, let's add some lemon there. Let's go for chef. You don't mind honest, if I no, go for it. lemon? We eat your food so much, it's okay. We, know. we uh, can trust you. you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go into the chili. No. Okay. I'm actually wanting to try this let's, chili. Let's go for it. Let's Please, go, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, brother. With the lemon, with that chili. I like that. Mm. Let's see. 
also like to do such things, you know? Mm. Mm. Sharpness of the onion. Mm. Has anyone tried the chili? Mm. Good. Mm. It's not too... I told you, it's like it feels quite mild. It's really nice. Mm. It's very pleasant chili. Is it tickling mm. in the back of the No, body? did you just scoop a whole teaspoon of chili and put it in your mouth? Let's go with the shimmer. <clears throat> All right, let's try it. But I'll still go in, into it again, anytime. It's really good. So now, everybody always asks, why do we do this to the shimmer? I do don't we? know. Why do we do this why to the Why do Zambians do this to the shimmer? What's the science behind it? The science, so you can pick up everything else. Because you don't just throw the bowl into your mouth, right? You have to put a bit of a dent into it. Mm. That's the funny thing, because a lot of our friends, like <coughs> the North Africa or West Africa, yep. they just do, go, go there. They don't make a little mound or whatever it is, no. So is the, and their food is really soupy. Yeah, so everybody still asks, is it even necessary to do that? That's Actually, a, that's yeah. a very good question. Why? But this so you fish. play around with it, mm. Mm. you swirl it, mm. and then, <laughs> yeah, a bit of a dimple, and you just... Okay, yeah, where is this thing for? One we store away from really someone. Good. Sorry, madam. Mm. <laughs> it's coming back. The impo is so good, though. If you're lucky. Oh. So good. You tried wow. the impo by itself, but try this one. Mm. Mm. I did, I tried oh, this, did. yeah. Mm. Mm. Really, really good. And I love that we got roller meal instead of like white mealy meal. I just think it's healthier. Mm -hmm. um, a great option. Love, See, love, 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 love. a nice crispy bit here as well. Mm. That's good. William, I can hear that from you. Yep. Let me try the crispy bits. Because nice. we've been having the crispy taste. Mm. Mm. That is good. <coughs> mm. Okay. That's really good. Mm. Have you noticed that every place we've gone, whether a very well-known establishment or not, mm -hmm. is still quite busy over lunch? So it's really nice to see the support that these establishments are getting, yeah. um, sure. especially from the working folk, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Lots of suits around. Yeah, lots and lots of suits. Mm. Okay. <coughs> that is really good. That was really nice. Let me tell you something. This is the one, though, isn't it? Mm -mm. What is this? Kalembla. Kalembla, sorry. Mm. Kalembla. One of my favorite vegetables, actually. Kalembla. Mm. Mm. William is sold on Lumanda. Yeah. Because of this Munewa Shoka series. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but the Lumanda early on went very went well. Down. Yeah. Very good. Oh, so good. All right, guys, we don't want to keep you here. <laughs> We've got one more location to go to as we search for Mwinewa Shokas in Lusaka. Thank you for all your nominations, and now we go to the final place. See you there. I said I'm not so. doing Shima, but I... Yeah. <laughs> Fourth location of the day. Last but not least, we are at a <laughs> very sentimental place for Lulu. <laughs> are you really? Should I tell the story? Mike's pub. So what happened? Short story. Lulu's kitchen party. When I popped the question, at my kitchen party, we at came my to kitchen celebrate. Party. He proposed. At Mike's. He asked me to marry him at my kitchen party. So. And then, what? in the evening, I expected now the romantic do for the two of us. We have a guest on the show. Okay, <laughs> Chef Thames, let me tell you what happened. <laughs> He brought me to Mike's pub uh -huh. with his siblings and cousins, and they had a whole big party at Mike's pub. Yeah. But the at saving spot, grace. Guys, it's not the, the location. The saving grace. No. It's the not the location. The saving grace. And this show is the about the food. The saving grace. The saving grace. And the grace. excellence of the fish that we had that day. And that is why I brought my the wife The saving back. grace was the fish. Yes. Thank you. I okay. Are there you he goes. About, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Exact yes. same one. Yes, thank yes, you. yes. Thank oh, you so much. thank you. Thank you. Wow. Oh. So this fish. This was the saving grace. Yeah. Is this a, this this specific fish? This is what made me not get upset about the fact that I was brought to Mike's pub to celebrate what was supposed to be a romantic night. It ended up being an actual dope night, and that sort of <laughs> sums up what our marriage is. It's a dope. whole bag of 
inconsistent displays of affection, but they work. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find I'm out loving more it. I'm loving about it. Mike's pub. <laughs> All right, yeah. Uh, hi, my name is uh, Ayu Matakala, uh, the director for another Mike's pub. It's been in existence for more than 15 years. Uh, somewhere around 2002, so when my father acquired this land, it was bare land, there was nobody here. They used to dump, uh, it was a dumping site. So he came, said cleaning it up, he bought the land from the council, he got his papers in place, then, then he had the dream of uh, running a bar. He started by building a car wash and putting some chalets and we had a small room here. That's what was a bar before we extended to this place. From the bar and people asked for food, that's when we decided to be doing uh, fish in the fall, just on the price stand. And uh, by that time there was even no, 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 no roof here. When he opened the bar, uh, he called me and my brother said, uh, you'll be helping me eh, to be running the place. So we, we were at college by that time, Mazikas. So after he knocked off, I would come here, help him sell and balance up the books for him. And then uh, at the long chat one of the days, I told him, no, instead of you paying me, let me start uh, running the bright stand. I take over the kitchen, that will be my part payment. Then he, okay, he agreed, said, okay, you can take over. Then we took over, started running the kitchen, and I could see people were more, more into the fish. Every, every time they come here, they well, make sure they want to find the fish, the forward fish. So I, okay, that's when I decided to also now expand the kitchen, because we had challenges. Yeah? When it's raining, the bright stand, people run away and say, no, no, no. So I decided to build up a kitchen now, so that even when it's raining, we're able to do the fish and sell. The fish in the fall, the inspiration came from him. The one who came up with the ideas, showed us how to do the fish in the fall. So that's why we continue doing it. Uh, and we're trying to make sure everyone likes it. We take over and we try to expand it. Okay, when we, when we opened, yeah, we had uh, about three to four workers. Uh, and then I uh, would come in and my brother, as I mentioned, to help out. Uh, I, would, I can be, a, I was like a barman. Again, manager doing the same roles when it's packed. My brother would also come out and help. But right now we've got to, uh, got now more than 10 workers. After we did the kitchen, now we tried to expand, to go into other business, into printing business and construction and supplying. And that's where, that's where we're in now. We're also doing printing and construction. So as the business uh, has grown, we, people come here every Sunday to wash their cars and come and enjoy the fish. It's, like, it's now known Sunday chills. Everyone will come here for Sunday chills come with their friends, they come and t test the fish, and uh, sometimes they'll come with people from outside the country, out or different towns, to come and test the, our Mike's fish. Chef, you ready? Chef, wow. you're gonna do the honors? I don't mind. Have you had this fish before? In my dream and today, yes. <laughs> okay, cool. I was so excited that they got nominated. Like I, okay, let me help you, <clears throat> let me help you, because uh, you ladies. are like going in there, you're gonna cut the fish. No, no. I'm waiting for that steam. Just to. I'm being meticulous as a woman. Can okay, we, yeah. Can we help you? <coughs> yep. That looks amazing already. Uh huh. Ooh, you see that steam? Yeah, Woo! Yes. So we've been searching for Mwinewa shokas, right? And it's been interesting to see that the other three places we've gone to were like top charcoal grilled fish. And this is made on the shokas, on the mbaola, and it just smells so oh. good. That smells really good. It smells wait. really good. It's foiled in. So we go? Oh, Perfect. okay. Oh. There you go, Chef. Thank you. Shall we tuck in? Mm -hmm. Hold up. Lemon squeeze. The chef says, 
Lemon squeeze. That's why the lemons are there. Oh, sorry, Chef. No, no, no. Are you okay then? At least we're not I'm having chili accidents like last yeah. week. <laughs> <laughs> Some explosions are here. Some explosions. Okay, here there we go. There you go. Please feed your wife, please. You know? Please. Oh, you're yeah, trying to get him to I, be Lolo, romantic. I mean, this is the romantic spot. But this is what spot. happened that night when we were here. <laughs> Just steamed to perfection. Tiny bit of salt mm -hmm. for me. And then. Mm. Mm. And it's steamed to absolute perfection. This is beautiful. Amazing. That sauce. The sauce, I don't know what it sauce. is. It sauce. But it's just <coughs> doing the thing. You know what? I need to get a bit of that sauce, huh? Tiny bit. I could literally just live like this. Mm. That is so you know, good. You can actually overcook fish, mm -hmm. steaming it. But this, it's like butter in your mouth. Oh yeah, true, exactly. Mm -hmm. I think that's the word I was looking for. <laughs> it's melting in your mouth. Literally. That is amazing. This um, is so good. I think as we love to say in Zambia, We've received the message. Mm. <laughs> Loud and clear. Loud and clear. This you had a piece so of good. onion, right? Mm. How, is it how do good you go? with the onion? Very good. Do you want to get me one with like, put the onion on top of me or so, baby? You see what I think they've also done here. I think they've also dipped the, they put something on the onion. I don't know whether I was tasting a bit of lemon or something in there. Mm. Like a pinch? Mm. <clears throat> Not the full onion, baby. Yeah. No, no, no. Being do, a spoiled wife. Yes, and you have to be. I mean, this I is mean, the romantic mm -hmm. place. This is the romantic place. <laughs> it's the romantic. Mm. <laughs> mm, mm, okay, mm. Uncle Mike, wherever you are, mm. we have, um, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to try some of the better. Please, can you, can you, can I just sprinkle? All right, just, just sprinkle like in the sauce even so that it uh, like gets the, yeah. William, you've done it. Thank you. Yeah, can we give him a round of applause? Thank you. Thank you, it goes to William. Oh, whatever you guys, Mr. Shemtems <laughs> has just been so nice to William, him been nice to him, and they've not been nice to me. We've I'm been joking. nice to you. I'm joking, I'm <laughs> joking. Oh. This has been a fun day. Mwinewa Shockers was launched as a competition to get you all to nominate your favorite shocker sport in Lusaka. Mm -hmm. We had four categories and you selected Mike's Pub. Um, Bob's. Bob's at Bob's, 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 yeah. Bob's at, yeah. um, <coughs> Avila uh, Gardens. Gardens. We also went to Mass Media Gardens, mm -hmm. and we also just came from Twa Twapandula. Twapandula. Mm -hmm. These four places were all unique and different, and I would like to hear from you. What stood out about each place, Chef, and which one your favorite was? With the garden, with the uh, Villas Garden. Villas yeah. Garden. Bob's, Wait, yeah. Mass Media the, Garden. The, the Mass Media Gardens. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Oh, the um, first one we went to. First right? one. <clears throat> I think that is a good start and a kickoff of the day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, well spiced mm -hmm. in terms of fish wise, it was moist mm -hmm, as well. Mm -hmm. um, good portioning. Yeah. And obviously the combination of what vegetables they put together. So, all in all, that's, that was a good place to start mm -hmm. off with. Then we went to Bubs. Mm -hmm. Right, Auntie Bubs did something to me. I tell you. She touched me. <laughs> she touched my heart. <laughs> um, it was very, you know, just even in the environment, mm. you know, mm. the, 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 the etiquette of everybody there. Mm -hmm. um, the feel, mm. literally, food complemented everything else. Yeah. So, Bob's, yeah, it was really good. Fish mm -hmm. was really good. Um, that one way, oh, I, Good, I, huh? I, uh, let's not get into that. <laughs> We're doing fish today. Um, but yeah, the fish was really good on that one. And then we came to Tuapandula. Mm -hmm. Tuapandula, mm. it was already kind of packed. <clears throat> yeah. And um, obviously we had a nice view of mom being there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's a great honor to meet her today. Mom's favorite um, drink. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, clearly, and I see why. <laughs> um, I can't blame her. And um, that was also it was a good standout. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, however, the fish on that aspect 
out of all places. Mm -hmm. I think it, it could have done slightly better. Mm -hmm. um, and when I say slightly better, I'm, there's nothing bad or anything. You're not it's taken just, away from from the other two previous have, yeah. places. But overall, it was too nice. The environment, mm -hmm. the food, the welcoming to Apandula. I would definitely go there for lunch again, for, for sure. Mm -hmm. Then we uh, here at Mike's. <laughs> Around you I'll the tell day. you how it's still going at Mike. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't done yet. <laughs> but all in all, um, this fish in a fall, you see there's so many, there's a few techniques that we've had through today. Mm -hmm. um, we've had grills, mm -hmm. which is off the brine, mm -hmm. with a lot of crispiness, yeah. moisture, and a foil wrapped fish. Again, still done off the grills, of, of the exactly. um, direct fire. Mm -hmm. So, in a sense of the techniques which have been used, fish portioning has been beautiful, flavor mm -hmm. has been, oof, an outburst. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you guys, but I've been having a song in my mouth. I'm the telling you, the whole and day. Exactly, so being here at Mike's as a rounding off, mm -hmm. this fish is good. However, mm -hmm. can I do the, do you, can, can we have a drum <laughs> roll? <laughs> <laughs> Mama, mm -hmm. uh, I think Babs. Babs, Babs huh? for you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So William, four joints, what was your favorite so far? As I said, the kind of fish that we've tasted today, with all the different, I mean, yes, obviously, you don't need differences, the steamed fish at the end, because everybody pretty much grilled it on them, huh? Very well done. I was very impressed with um, Mass Media Gardens. I think whatever, spicy use with that lemon it really oh. came out like you know it gave you that little buzz mm. in the back of your mouth talking about lemon yeah. so that was good and then barbs as i said environment that crispiness and that beautiful moistness in that fish i think that was done very well then to a pandula i thought probably a little bit drier than barbs yeah this here in its own right is amazing it's cooking in its own juices tomato peppers and then obviously there's so many little condiments that you add exactly so this here i think end of the day is fantastic wash it down with a beer perfect but i think i'll side with you as well i think bob's did the things today bob's I at havila gardens for you okay mm -hmm. interesting Auntie bob's did something to two of us all right well, as you've heard it, you nominated for Mwinewa Shokas. We went to all your spots. We are celebrating each of these spots and we want you to look at this series as your perfect guide to the best Shokas spots oh in Lusaka. And honestly speaking, all four that you guys sent us to were incredible. Mass Media Gardens, underrated, it's like the underdog. I had no idea they existed. I'm definitely <laughs> going to be sending people your way. Great location also in Long Acres, very easy to access. So mm -hmm. if you are in that area, and there's so many offices in that area, please do go over mm -hmm. to them. It was absolute excellence. Also, if you would like to book a table with them, they also offer that. Mm -hmm. Then Bob's at Havila Gardens. Oh my goodness. First of all, I met somebody from the creative industry <laughs> who's also gone into food. So that was truly, truly special for me. <clears throat> to see someone I look up to in the creative yeah. space who's come out of the music industry and has gone on to open her own space. I'll give a shout out to Auntie Maureen Lilanda because she's also opened a space yeah. in Kabulonga. Mm -hmm. So that fish also stood out. I love the area. It's a cool place also to go in my family because the kids can play around. I love meeting Saoma. Oh, yes. Yes, Saoma, we bought some, some plants fl from plants, her. Yeah. So I love that you can kill so many birds with one stone. That fish had the message. <laughs> it spoke to us. It, it just felt like she had just gone to the river, took it out and Literally. then placed it on the grill, shockered it and just gave it to us. It was incredible. Then we moved on to Twapandula. One thing I've always loved about Twapandula is the consistency of their food. Yeah. So with all the other spaces that I've been to, it was my first time to go there. Mm -hmm. But with Twapandula, it's the consistency of good food service and a clean environment. I also love that her fish had a bit of a smoky flavor to it. Mm -hmm. So I guess that's why it wasn't as moist as the others. It gave like a bit of smokiness. 
So I really love that about Trapandula mm -hmm. too and meeting my mom there was just a bonus <laughs> on top because that truly is one of her favorite spots. Finally, we've come to a place that reminds me of what started off as a not so romantic <laughs> night, but ended up being a great <laughs> night with my husband and his family celebrating our engagement and our kitchen party. It was so nice to finally eat something so good because I was starving that night mm. and food was the saving grace for this guy <laughs> because that foiled fish came and I devoured it. It was so good and it always leaves a good memory for me. Today I've tasted it again and I'm really happy. But let's crown Winewa Shokas. I think it goes without saying. Even if I try to cast a vote right now, the two guys have voted and Winewa Shokas in the fish category is Bob's from Havila Garden Place. Congratulations to you. And you will be seeing her at the Shokas event happening mm -hmm. on the 15th of October between 9 a.m., actually 10 a.m., and 18, and 18 hours, hours yeah. we can't wait to see you there get your tickets from compu tickets at only 100 kwacha and children under 12 are there for free from us chef thames we love you and we're so grateful that you could be Thank here you, you were out. great and moving around in that jolly on the habao <laughs> jolly on was just oh, yeah. lots of yeah. fun and yeah. laughs with you thank you so much no, thank you to the rest of you goodbye and ise tapeza kwamene Kuli, Mwine, Washo Kasi. Finished. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Catch on the flip side. <laughs>